your local weather authority forecast. It's a bit more of a cloudy morning across the basin, but we're still free from rain right now in places like Midland and Odessa, but things may change in the coming days. This is a live look at Odessa early on your Tuesday morning. We're before sunrise. That's why we're seeing the black and white colors, but we clearly see some clouds off in the distance, not producing any rain, but satellite and radar showing more clouds on the increase moving from southeast to northwest, courtesy of this tropical storm, tropical storm Herald, spinning in the northwest Gulf, I'll eventually make landfall in southern Texas later today, and that'll start to bring in more rainfall in our neck of the woods in not only the coming hours, but in the next couple of days, much needed rainfall, but a lot of that rain coming down at once later today through tomorrow. That's why the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch in effect till 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time until tomorrow does not include Midland Odessa, but does include Fork Stockton to the Rio Grande, Marfa and Alpines, the Van Horn region, and Davis Mountains, especially temperatures will lower quite a bit, and we'll see as much as several inches of rain in some of the mountainous terrain. Make sure you guys turn around, don't drown, and drive slowly. If you guys are going to be in these areas, especially south of I-10, quite a bit of rain is likely, but again, we need the rainfall, so there are two caveats beneficial and not beneficial. We do notice that right now that tropical storm Herald winds currently sustained at 45 miles per hour within the last update quickly moving out of the west and we're going to be seeing that storm make landfall early this afternoon near Brownsville and northern Mexico. Still as a tropical storm, the outer rain band is getting very closer to the basin with quite a bit of those yellows, oranges, and reds indicating not only rain, but lightning strikes and strong winds. So a couple of thunderstorms in northern areas today and also in tomorrow as the storm weakens through tomorrow, less than a tropical storm. But Still quite a bit of leftover rain possible for many in the Trans-Pecos tomorrow. For today, partly to mostly cloudy to start in the mid to upper 70s. Very similar compared to what we're seeing right now. Currently sitting at 78 within the mid to upper 70 degree range for your morning commute. Upper 80s, lower 90s by noon. Mid to upper 90s by the afternoon. So north of I-10 and I-20. Enough sunshine will heat things up to right around 95 in the tall city by 4 p.m. with a high temperature of 97. More clouds, lower temperatures, and stronger winds will ensue later this evening. 60s in the Trans-Pecos to start in the mountain terrain. Mid to upper 70s, lower 80s around Midland, Odessa. The big spring heating up in the mid to upper 90s north and east of the fork between I-10. But... We'll see a little bit more of the way of cooler and muggier air in north and western of the train. Even and probably tonight, winds a little bit breezy from time to time. Chances of rain. Easterly winds supplying the humidity. Easterly winds sustained at 15 to 25 miles per hour this afternoon. Very light to start, but picking up this afternoon with stronger winds in the Rio Grande. That will really start to pick up as that center low pressure system gets very close to our neck of the woods near Presidio tomorrow morning. And for your seven-day forecast, we see that. Your Mighty Wash Car Wash 7 day forecast showing double digit temperatures today, tomorrow, and as we head into Thursday for more sunshine, heating things up by the weekend. Make sure you guys check in with our Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez tonight at 5, 6, and 10.